Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share some field recordings I've collected and share what I use to collect them. It was really only two tools if you include my cell phone, which makes field recording pretty fun and easy to get into. I'm also going to share a couple of tips as we go. Really only one, but it's a major tip. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, grab your favorite drink, and let's get into it. I recorded these sounds at Cold Spring Park in Kentucky using my Tascam DR-05X, which is the best bang for your buck. A link to purchase is down in the description, and I'm using it to record my voice right now. You won't be disappointed. Now let's let you hear a raw recording. If I could offer any tips on this thing, really, I'm going to just offer one. And it's like the the biggest tip when it comes to uh, recording audio in general is make sure you're not clipping. Leave a lot of headroom, even for ambient sounds such as like nature and like water and birds chirping. All that stuff, you still want to leave a lot of headroom for your, your future processing. Uh, you might want to add a lot of crazy effects that boost that level up and you don't want it clipping unless clipping and distortion is is what you're aiming for then have it crank that motherfucker up but um that's really my only tip man because recording bird sounds unless you write up on a bird you know it's, you just push record man it's, 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 especially when you out in nature and you out in wilderness man you ain't getting a lot of cars passing by you ain't hearing a lot of lawnmowers it's quiet, man. So just hit that record button and you're good to go. Be sure to like and subscribe for future episodes. I'm definitely going to tap into the sound design aspect of using field recordings and using field recordings in music production. I'm definitely getting into it. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Yeah.